What's up, everyone? I decided to stream, and I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to waste any more time. My my depression, my sadness, my everything has turned into just pent-up rage, anger, and frustration with everything. And I, I don't care. I'm not going to hold back, and I'm not going to fucking wait anymore. And I'm not going to try to protect other people, and, and I'm not going to fucking justify and 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 fucking uh, like i i'm i'm just gonna say straight up like everything the, the that i'm feeling that happened and and everything so i've been kind of going on and talking about what i'm currently going through and everything and uh i've been feeling like absolute fucking shit recently okay i've been not sleeping always fucking tired because i'm on i'm on some medications that 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 have more fucking side effects than like anything positive like you need to take that shit for four weeks before it starts working and it makes you feel worse okay it makes you feel fucking worse but you know what besides that medication making me feel bad there's been so many other bullshit that has fucking worsened myself and i honestly allowed other people and 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 just utter bullshit to to affect me and i'm no longer gonna gonna allow that honestly um so i i i know i didn't really go into details on what's been happening or anything that really happened i've been trying to shield and protect um people not mentioning names not saying anything but now i i just don't give a fuck because if if i'm going if if the bomb's going to go off and i'm the only one impacted by the bomb fuck it i'm not going to shield anyone anymore and i don't care you know like you know i've been saying that i've been in a 5 year relationship like ever since the beginning i've 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 been serious. I've been fucking trying my best to make it work, you know, to kind of settle the fuck down, which is hard to do in this day and age, right? Because it's hard to find someone. It is. And in, in this fucking generation, in this day and age, I don't even want to say generation, but in this day and age where everything is like fucking social media and fucking you have to deal with fucking catfishes, liars, scammers, fucking a whole bunch of dog shit. It's like to find a relationship and actually something worth it, you got to go through a fucking minefield. And no matter how much you tippy toe or you can even fucking levitate and end up getting blown the fuck up in this day and age when it comes down to relationships, then we all suffer from something, whether it's depression, isolation, fucking introvert, extrovert, what, whatever the fuck. It's already hard enough to 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 leave your house or or go out and try to socialize because we we've we've come to this fucking toxic ass fucking society where people shoot you down because of physical preferences or or just any old dog shit but no i've i found someone i i for five years we've been together oh so i thought um and i've been dealing with fucking other people uh people that 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 fucking i don't know i don't even know what to call them but they they would insert themselves they would try to fucking affect the 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 relationship and 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 whatever and i i've fucking taken explosion after explosion after explosion and i'm tired of fucking taking explosions man i'm tired of fucking doing everything you're supposed to 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 make it work and 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 doubting yourself and fucking feeling like you want to die at times because you're you're living you're trying and and nothing's happening and 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 you just feel worse and worse and worse and no matter how much you try and how much you do it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you know and it's it's fucking bullshit honestly um but recently i've been trying to well in february let me let me start there actually in february right this person 
I'm not, I, you know what? I'm not going to say their names, but this person, right? My part, my ex or whatever, fucking, she was studying psychology, right? There's so many fucking different versions of a story that I don't even know what the fuck to believe in. I don't, quite frankly, I don't even care anymore. But from what I I learned, there was this there was this guy, right? Got catfished with her identity and whatnot. Felt so fucking heartbroken and and so depressed that you know she she wanted to help him out and um. Nah, but by, by help her out and 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 stuff. This guy, she would like he would he would put things, publicize fake stuff, like and 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 I don't know. Supposedly, oh, it, it's all ethical and all you know professional and shit. But um, how the fuck are you supposed to help someone out who got catfished when you're? calling him names like like baby and 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 you're allowing him to go on his social media and posting dates and 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 your picture and and all that shit it's like what the fuck it's like trying to help a drug addict kick his drug habit with drugs shit makes no fucking sense whatsoever but anyways i confronted the guy not not about anything but but what is she to, like what is going on here that's it that's it and like any one in any relationship would do if you're supposedly faithful with someone and you're devoted to someone and someone just appears and and claims this and this and you see this on social media and, and everything of course it's going to affect you if you really care and so no all all I did was that and then he's like, oh, he tells me a whole bunch of shit. All right. Out of all that bullshit, I'm the one who gets the, sh- the shit end of the stick, right? So so, so, she breaks up with me. She, she whatever. She says a whole bunch of things. I, I got in, in between her, her profession and that was um that was whatever she even told me oh he reported i lost my license da 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 that was all bullshit as well that was all bullshit as well she told me but she didn't lose her license he didn't report her cuz now two two months separated wanting to die over over someone and trying to fix shit you know i i i come to find out that that they're still talking and whatever. And then we agreed. We came to terms to try to fix things after giving it two months. And I was able, I was like, hey, if this is an opportunity for me to mend whatever was broken and actually really, really get to the finish line, that's, 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 I'm, I'm going to try it. And so I did everything. And then she tells me about this live on TikTok with a group of uh, people and everything, and she's like, "Oh, um, they're they're friend, uh, they're 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 friends, but I I go on, I help them um, get donations, you know, and and you know, so I, she was flirting basically." She was flirting because she would she would try to you know flirt with someone to get them to donate supposedly, supposedly, but. People will donate to her. People will write shit to her. Nobody knew about me, who I was. She said that I was a friend or or someone she talked to, which is bullshit. Cause that that's 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 not right. That's not right. And if you're trying to fix things and you're trying to mend things, why not just be upfront and honest? You know. But that okay, whatever. Um. Straight up, I, 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 and one live, they were talking about her and she wasn't even there. And I, and I go in and, and supposedly, uh, I, I was like, Hey, I don't want to interrupt, but I heard you talking about such person. Like, 
keep going. Like, what, what are you talking about? And, and whatever. And then, so I come, I come straight out and I'm like, listen, I've, I've been, you know, they're, they're talking on the, on the term of, of relationship. They're on the topic of relationships and everything. Then they talk about long distance and stuff. I was like, yeah, no, I believe in long distance because I've been in a fucking long distance relationship for five fucking years. Right. And, and they were like straight up, like trying to give me advice and like, oh, move on. I know it's hard. I know depression and this and this and this. And I'm like, no, it's this person. And that's all I said. This person. I've been with them five years and something happened and I'm trying to mend things and fix things. That's all I fucking said. And then, you know what? It was alive. So I was like, that's all I'm going to say. Let's, let's, let's change the topic. Actually, I even told the fucking host to, to mute me, to delete the, the message, the messages. So nobody can go into the comments and read whatever the fuck we were talking about. Even though it wasn't nothing bad. I wasn't bad mouthing. I wasn't saying anything other than, listen, I really care for this person. And I've, I've been trying for five years and I, I still want to make it work. After all this time and after all the shit that I've been through in those five fucking years. And if that person really did care and it was mutual, you know, we're going to make it work. That's all I said. That's all I fucking said. I didn't mention not even psychiatry. I didn't mention patients. I didn't mention uh, the motherfucker that, that, that caused a, a rift in the relationship in the first place. And so... Just so much shit would happen and, and I would always blame myself and I would be the crazy one. But you know what happened after that? Every the, the, the live went normal. They were just talking bullshit and all that. Next day, there's a motherfucker that takes screenshots of everything and he sends it to her while I'm in video chatting with her. And so she reads it and then she calls she she gets frustrated and she yells at me that I ruined her 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 reputation. I ruined her her career that I've 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 again and I'm like how the fuck did I ruin your career? Since when in the world is having a career you can't have any relationship whatsoever. And uh, like she's like no, people idolize fucking psychiatrists and they're supposed to be perfect in their eyes so if someone's going through something um you know whatever turns out this fucking group talks shit she posted her her grades whatever and the group talks shit about her like oh she's a psychiatrist but but look she has problems in her life or da 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 she's not capable again i didn't say anything to fucking bad mouth or, or affect your career. If they're talking shit, that's the type of people you associate with. Maybe you should fucking reconsider that, you know? And if it's about making money on TikTok or Alive, fucking cut them off, go on, do it yourself, and you can earn money, and you can meet new people. And and so, anyways, she blamed me all, for all that shit. And she's crying and she's punching and she's she's calling me a piece of shit because I did that. And I'm like, since when is having a since when do you have to be perfect if you're a psychiatrist? The teachers, you're telling me the teachers can't fucking learn shit or make mistakes because they 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 educate themselves on every topic? Or like not even if you were like part of the 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 fucking church where you can have fucking relationships or if it was fucking in the same industry or you were working together, it was a coworker and it's a conflict of interest. Like this shit makes no fucking sense. And so I confided in her, in her family, right? Since the very beginning. And I made my intentions known like, Hey, I really, I really like your, like, I really love your daughters. I feel, I, f I have feelings and I want to make it work and I'm actually serious. I don't want you to think da 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 da. And later down the line, I, I want to, to marry her and everything. And they were all, all good with that. And her mom, after everything happened, told me straight out. And I told her mom, like, hey, listen, I, I want to, 
I want to confide in you and I want to kind of express some things and, 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 and see your opinion because it, it, it helps to, you know, for your guidance and stuff. She told me straight up, I don't, I don't want your explanations and stop bothering. What? Excuse me? <laughs> like, I... Like, I've done nothing but dedicate myself for five years and help you guys and help your daughter achieve whatever she wants and, 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 and try my best to make everything work and, and, and done everything. And in the process, I'm the always, I'm the always, I'm the only one out of outsiders or, or anything that happened to get affected, to, to fucking, get depressed, not eat all the sleepless fucking nights and, and, and everything that I went through and, and, and you know what? I, that's why I, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Like the world is so, there's so fucked up people. There's so many fucked up people in this fucking world, dude. And, and sometimes you could do everything that that you need to do. You you could be a good person and life or or people in life. You know, cuz it's not life itself. It's the fucking people, right? Can fucking just drag you across the mud and 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 treat you like shit and take advantage of you and and do a whole bunch of just fucking like it, it's insane to me. It is insane to me and I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And it's sad. It's sad. Because I've 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 done everything. I gave not a hundred percent. Not it was not fifty fifty, you know. I gave a million fucking percent and got nothing back. Got nothing back for it. For six years. For six fucking years. And it, it's... It's fucking... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted of trying and doing everything I'm supposed to. And getting fucking rolled over. Rolled over. Because I, I, for five years, I'm saying, hey, let's focus on us. Let's, let's, I, I'm, I'm invested in you. I want you to be invested in me. I want us to be, it's us, our families, you know? And no, no, comes this person and, and stirs, stirs the pot. And I get, I get, I get blamed for it. I'm the bad guy. Then comes this person. And the same shit happens. And I'm so fucking stupid that I'm such a good mother, like a, a good person that I try to make it work. I, and, and a lot of people in my situation would have long called it quits, right? But no, I, I feel and I overthink and, I, and, I, and I'm such a emotional, sentimental dude that, that I, 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 it could be the fucking devil in disguise. And I would still think it's a it's a fucking angel and try to make it work. You know? And even now, even now, even now talking, even now being frustrated and everything, I'm trying to fucking, you know, wrap my head around it and I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Like a person gives you their life. They live for you. Instead of themselves, instead of focusing on themselves, all the money that that they could have invested and used in 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 needs, and I don't even care about fucking money. I all the fucking times that that I've that that you try and help them, that you try to to make them feel better when when something happens or when this person gets into an argument and 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 you pay for it you pay the consequences or when 
when you try to show your passion and appreciation and, and go public and everything and fuck it. If it was up to me, I would go to the moon and yell to the universe. Hey, this person, I'm, I, I, I love them and everything. And, and, and that, and, and if, if you even whisper it, like if, if you even whisper it, you're the bad guy. You're, you, you're the one that fucked up. You're the one that fucked up because it's two people in a relationship, okay? It's two fucking people, okay? And it takes two. It ta- it takes two, and it's 50-50, and it, and, it, and it has to be mutual, and it has to have the same goal and dream for it to work out. And I've done nothing but give myself to, to that person and invest in them, not in myself, because I fuck myself. Fuck myself. You know, and, 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 and it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. I was fighting a, a, a losing war from the beginning without knowing I was in the front lines fighting for what I believed was, was mine and not mine alone, but ours. And, and, and that didn't matter. That does not matter. All because of what? All because I, I came out and told my truth. Not our truth. Not the, the truth. And people chose to, to, to be pieces of fucking shit. And, 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 and you're so focused on your, on, your, on, your, on your reputation and on what those people say. Like... We, I know the world is unfair and life is unfair. And a lot of times you try, you do it, you, you do everything you're supposed to, you go above and beyond and shit, but for it never to pay off for you not to see any progress or anything, or, or, or you try to be nice to someone and they take advantage of you. Cause those motherfuckers on, on them motherfucking lives don't care about shit. They just care about money. They just, they just, they, that's all they care about. That's all they fucking care about. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about your problems. They don't care, give a fuck about your feelings, your emotions, trying to connect as human beings. And those are not human beings. Those are not human beings whatsoever. Because they don't have morals, they don't have values, they don't have anything. They just care about you fucking donating and and taking cents out of, off of you, and then and then using you and turning behind your back and fucking talking shit about you, just to do it. When when you when you turn around and 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 try to be nice, they 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 do it again, leeches. Bloodsuckers. Like, what is this fucking world? What is this fucking society? What is what is life, dude? If this is the people that are that are in this life, in this world, like holy fuck, dude. There is like no fucking dude. Like, you know the amount of fucking times. I blindly fucking chose to be ignorant and chose to fucking the, the people around me, the people that actually fucking care, you know, try to wake your eyes up and, and, and tell you the truth, even though the truth hurts sometimes. And you know how fucking stupid and idiotic I am to be like, no, no, because in my mind, I'm fixated with something that is one side is something that is that is not even real, even though they paint it to be and everything. To then have it blow up in your face in front of everyone. And it's not really your fault, but you pay for it. Because you have, if you're in a relationship, that is your truth. That is your truth. They could be playing you. They could be cheating on you. They could be lying to you. They can be, but it doesn't make it invalid because they did that to you. It's, oh, man, I, 
I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck people in this world like desire and actually want because when you give it to them, they just they just don't appreciate it. They don't. They don't, man. They don't. And no matter how fucking hurt and how many shit I had to go through that a lot of people didn't tolerate or would go through, and you just keep trying and trying and trying and doing and doing and doing and give, 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 and 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 not even receive an ounce back of what you're giving. That fucking sucks, dude. That fucking sucks. Because it wasn't just a relationship. It was the family. I did everything. Even when I didn't have. You know, it's like that fucking Justin Timberlake song. That I gave you the clothes off my back. And everything. And, and. Oh. And I still don't give a fuck about myself. I should. I should. I should say, you know what? Fuck it. I snapped out and 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 I did everything. And I'm not the I'm not the bad guy here. I'm not the bad guy. And I kind I I do I do know that, but deep down inside, I've come I loved someone so much even though it wasn't reciprocated that I I I hate my I hate myself. I hated myself giving all the love I should have shared. I I don't have that anymore because I gave it all and I have nothing but hatred left for myself. And that's why I'm fucking depressed, not sleeping, doubting myself, fucking saying it's my fault. It's not their fault. It's not, it's not this person's fault. I, I don't have the right. They have the right. It's something wrong in my head. There's a loose wire. Yeah, I'm the crazy one because everyone or that everyone says you are crazy when you're really just fighting and and trying and doing everything. And you just don't know how to say no. You don't know how to fucking let go. You don't know how to move on. Because you think you think I, there's something I can do. This is fixable. This is, this is mendable. I can, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I'm doing, I'm doing it. And then you try more and more and more when this, there's nothing else to give and you just try to find more things and it doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. Like I, maybe I just wasn't meant for, for this. Maybe I just wasn't meant for this life, maybe I wasn't prepared, maybe I wasn't fucking, I don't know. All you can focus on is yourself and trying to be a good person yourself. And, and I, I, I was, I was, I feel I was cause I, I did everything. I did everything. Even when I, when I didn't need to, even when I myself was no food. But they need money because they want to do this and they want to do that. And, and they, you know what? Here. Or, hey, you need this? Don't worry. I will, I will, I will give. I will give. Or, hey, I want this for myself. Or I want to enjoy this. I want to be happy. That can wait. My happiness can wait. And I thought for five fucking six years and even now that if I try, if I try, they will, they will see, they will see and they are my happiness and I will obtain that. But it was unattainable since the beginning and I chose to ignore it. I chose to ignore it. And, and they weren't capable enough to be like, Hey, you know what? Yes, you are trying. And, and it is true. And you know what? It is us against the world and, and, and just the family and, and, and good people. No, no, no. Why? Because it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same dream. It wasn't the same dream. And that sucks. That fucking sucks that you, even when you think you know someone and you think that, that, that you read all the pages in the book. When really it's plot twist after plot twist and, and, and you never really know the truth. 
You never really know someone. You never really know someone. And someone can lie to you. Someone can tell you that it that it matters, that it makes a difference, and that that hey, it, it is mutual and and there is love and everything and and all the actions say otherwise. I feel like a fucking idiot. And rightfully so, well deserved by me because of it. Because for fucking six years or five years and a half, I busted my ass working, fucking saving up whatever I, I have and what I don't have. To give to you for us for a future that doesn't exist. But you know what? I can't turn back time. I can't turn back time. I can't, I can't you can't change outcomes. Cause it just it fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. But you don't know. You don't know. And honestly, my de- my depression, my sadness, my anxiety, my self doubt, my, my my just the the it's it's pure rage and and everything, and not towards someone or something or any anyone. It's just everything, everything, everything. And I don't have words anymore. I don't have words anymore. And all because you have the right to talk your truth and say your truth. And your truth is just yours and yours alone and you shouldn't say it. You should keep it to yourself. You know how fucking dog shit that is, bro? You know how fucking dog shit that is? Because if it was a shared truth and that truth was the same for the other person there would be no no issues but that just goes to show that just goes to show that I, I don't know I don't know I keep talking I keep talking and I keep feeling fucking rage and anger and I just want to yell but I don't have d- the fucking words or force or energy. I didn't I didn't tell them to be pieces of fucking shit and and talk behind your back and 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 and, and whatever, you know. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I didn't say anything bad. All because what? Because what? Because I wanted to validate something that I thought was real. And if it was as you claim, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. I mean, it's not worth anything. When you build a fucking foundation, a, a a solid base, and you just try, and you just give, give, keep working at it, keep working at it, keep working at it, and it and and it crumbles. It crumbles because a little wind blew and fucking collapsed it. Like what is it? A fucking is it dominoes? Is it a is it a is it paper? Is it? I don't get it. Why would you let the fucking wind uh, uh, blow, puff and blow the house down? Like, what the fuck? We, 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 we grow up hearing fairy tales and, and, and fucking the three little pigs puff and puff and I'll blow your fucking house down. And then it blows down. And then you try to fucking reconstruct it and you huff and puff and blow the house down and then the fucking straw and and whatever and so you build a brick house and no matter how much they fucking blow on it it does it it stays it stays 
So why did I do it? Why did I, why did it, they blow it down and it, 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 it fell on me. You weren't even in the house with me. I'm the only one who fucking took the impact of, of the, the, the fucking material. And why, if I build it, not even out of fucking brick, out of the, the hardest fucking substance in the world, that someone tried to fucking huff and puff, and that shit just came fucking collapsing and, and, and breaking every bone in my body and, and, and taking my life. A house that I'm building, not only for me, but for, for us, for you. And, 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 and that happens. You let outside interference blow it down or, or fucking. And I don't want to say, I don't want to say that the whole fucking world is like that. And every fucking human being in the world is like that. But there is a fucking lot of people that are just fucking vile, fucking the worst fucking pieces of scum in the fucking world. And I know that there's fucking people that are good ass fucking people and have pure hearts and actually fucking care. But to have those fucking fucking dog shit fucking pieces of flesh overshadow you and your 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 greatness and your ability and your your kindness and your sincerity is yeah. Like maybe, maybe if it was someone else, maybe it was someone that actually cherishes you, you should fucking try to find, but it's impossible. It's impossible. And also, even if you, if you try nine times out of 10, it's not, it's not what you think. This is why everyone has fucking trust issues. I've always had trust issues. You know? And it's a defense mechanism. It isn't anything wrong with me. It's just that my whole entire fucking life I've been I've been betrayed. I've been I've been this and that. And so I decide to open up to you and and give you everything and let you in and 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 show you that and you know that. And you know my life story. You know every fucking shit I've been through. And 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 for you to... To know that... And it makes me, it makes me more angry because it's not even that I'm mad at the bad people. I'm just mad that the good people get hurt. Like why? Why not be positive? Why not try? Why not? Why not? When shit is actually worth it. Why, why not fucking, why not? Why do you let one fucking negative fucking bullshit or a group of fucking negative fucking people impact something that I, I don't, it doesn't make, it makes sense. No matter how much of a fucking overthinker and how much I analyze it and, and no matter how much, fu- they say time heals all wounds and shit, but no matter how much fucking time, I'm never going to understand that. I'm never going to fucking understand that. Like, it makes no sense. Like, what even fucking matters anymore, dude? When you're trying your best, you fucking give it all. And I'm not only talking about a relationship. I'm talking about anything in the world. And then you just get beat down and beat down and beat down and beat down. 
and 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 nobody steps in and you just beat down beat down you get up you find the the last fucking ounce of strength to get the fuck back up on your two feet and 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 they break it and now you're you can't get up like at that fucking point just take the just just end it just take my life Beat me so bad that I that I, I I can't even try to get up anymore. But no, people just people are fucking animals. People are fucking animals and they'll beat you and they'll beat you and they'll torture you and they torture you. Like what the fuck happened to sympathy, empathy, fucking like I know society's fucking it's a it's a dog doggy dog world. You know? But like fuck man. Fuck race, man. Fuck race. Fuck fuck skin color. Fuck everything. Like why can't we just be human race? Like why can't we just be a human race? We bleed the same fucking color. We get hurt and feel pain the same. So why the fuck go out and cause pain? Why? Like, does it not matter? Like, why instead of trying to better yourself and be positive and and trying to work and and uplift people and, and, and trying to help people... Why go out there and give negative fucking energy and, and, and just try to ruin shit? And affect shit that you, you can just turn around and fucking walk the other way instead of trying to fucking do that. Like, shit makes no sense. It makes no sense. And I swear that's why people say, that's why people create a fucking devil. Like, just to just to make sense out of shit. Just to say any bad thing that happens, that's the devil. Any bad thing that happens, it's his fault. It was him. No, it fucking wasn't. It wasn't him. It was them. And they're the same as me. They're, we're 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 human. We 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 were born the same way. We die the same way. We don't leave the world with anything. So why fucking, why is material materials worth more than anything in the world? You come to, to experience life. It's a unique fucking once in a lifetime thing. And, and, and instead of fucking making the best out of it, we choose to focus on fucking money and man-made shit. And 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 being better and 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 getting one leg up on someone and and fucking ruining this because fuck you guys you guys are happy or this makes you happy I'm not happy I'm gonna fuck that up for you why why or if you have something good why the fuck would you not focus on it why would you not see potential why do you not why? Why would you fucking... Why for, for... For fucking nine steps forward, do you take 20 steps back? Why? Why not keep moving forward? Why not just pause instead of fucking going backwards? I don't care how much you're fucking hurting or how much longer of a distance you got to fucking go. Why? 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 Why turn around? Why? Why backtrack? I don't get it. I do not get it. I don't I don't gain anything from from fucking saying, "Hey, this is the reality. This is what I had and this is what I want and this is this is what who I love and I want to be with and I want to be happy with and I want to fix shit that I didn't even break in the first place. But I get blamed for breaking it. I don't gain shit from that besides acknowledgement, besides fucking 
validation and instead it's ammo it's not even that the gun backfired what the f ah man dude I just don't know. I just don't know. I still, tr like, I should just say, fuck it, you know? I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't trust people. I should be the most fucking, I should put up 20 guards instead of just fucking one or and, and, and live life and be able to live life. But I'm not living life. I'm existing because I lived the life for someone else and they couldn't see that. And, and other people ruined that. And so I'm left with what? Existing? And I should pick myself up and live for myself. Continue living for myself now. And I'm not even doing that. I'm here fucking trying to make sense of it all. And it doesn't fucking make sense. It doesn't make sense. Because the people that were supposed to have your back. And that know that, hey, it was real. Hey, this is what ma you matter. Turn around and say, fuck you. Fuck you, you ruined it. Because, because you spoke your truth. And other people preyed on that. And then to have your the people that so are supposed to matter, the only people in that inner circle to come and, and, and tell you not to bother... That, that they don't want explanations or, or nothing that you say matters because you chose to fucking keep your, uh, your, I mean, not keep your mouth shut and keep taking fucking lies and other bullshit that, that shouldn't be the case. Once again, I don't give a fuck if you pay me out as the villain, if you pay me out as a bad guy, if you pay me out as the devil himself, because those are fucking depictions. Those are interpretations. False ones at that. False ones at that. I don't care if you go on your whole entire life without even thinking back and being like, you know what? Now at the end of the road, that person was, wasn't what I, I, I made them out to be. I don't care if you have to depict me like that. If you have to pay me in that light and everything, go right ahead. Go right ahead. If you need to find someone to blame, even though it's not their fault, go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm tired. I'm tired of trying. I'm tired. For what, man? Even after everything, even after everything, I was like, you know what? you know what, I'm making something out of nothing and, and I want to buy you a ring and I want to, I'm, yo, anything you can possibly think of, I've tried. And even after that, like what, what is, what? Like if marriage doesn't matter, if, if a fucking lifetime promise I don't have fucking money. I don't have anything. I haven't accomplished anything in life. I'm 20 fucking eight. You know, I'm 20 fucking eight, dude. And here I am living the shit end of the stick and comparing myself to, to, to my older siblings. Well, they have kids. They have a house. They can buy this. They can travel. They can do that. They're happy. They got their partners. Why can't I have it? Why? 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 And then I see the past generation and I'm like, you know what? My mom had me when, I, when she was 24. And she got married at this age. 
And I'm fucking 28, dude. And I don't have anything. Because, and, and I try to go all in. When, when you know that, that it was rigged. To land on that number and pay you out like you're supposed to. And it, it and because someone kicked the machine, it it ended up going past that a little bit or a lot, and 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 now you lost everything. It's like what? And it's not even it's not even the fact that you tried and you gave and 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 it didn't work out, and and it's like well fuck, that's time lost and that's money lost and that's I lost this and that. No, it's not that. It's not that 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 makes me feel this way. It is knowing that I gave everything and I told them from the beginning. I told them from the beginning. This is it. This is it. I'm I'm giving you 100% and you can choose to to uh, to to appreciate that and and give 100% and we can both be together and 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 everything i devoted dedicated my life to that person you know and 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 that is something that i'm not sure if i can ever be capable of doing again and i know i know people see breakups and heartbreaks and and if you get cheated on like the, the worst pain in the world or something that isn't you're not able to recover from you know but i gave everything and more and then some and to do that again, that's just something you don't do again. That is something you can't do again. You can't do at that level. At that level. Because you think you found your soulmate and you're like, okay, this is the person I'm going to settle down with. This isn't just this person. This is the mother of my future unborn children. This is my future wife. This is or the future husband or future, you know, Whatever, we're going to be together. We're going to, you know, we're already doing it. We can do it. And, and you work towards it. And, 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 and it's, it, it, it just blows up in your face. Shit, like it's it, it consumed me for that long, and it took everything and more, as I said. But fuck it, I'm the I'm the bad guy. It's my fault. It's my fault, you know. It, and it it's it's like a fucking permanent game over. It's like you, 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 you face the, you play a video game, you face the final fucking boss, you're at the end of the level, and, and you have three tries, and you're on your last life, and it's like, I can beat, if I beat this, if I beat this, he's one hit away, he's one hit away, and I beat the whole game, I beat the whole game, and, before you can beat the game or, or or defeat the boss, the game just never stops working ever again. Do you think you can be able to 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 buy a, another copy of that game and do it all from the beginning, knowing that that it was nearly impossible to to reach that end? Hell no. And that fucking sucks. Because even if I try, even if I try, I knew that was the perfect run. Then that was the run that was supposed to matter. Because it only takes one run. One successful run. 
you know, and it's like I, I gave my all and more and it was supposed to work. The stars align. So why isn't it? Why? Why? You have all these answers that have no, like you have all these questions that have no answers and you're driving yourself nuts and you're letting it consume you trying to find answers that don't fucking exist because it makes no sense. No matter how you analyze it or how you put it, it makes no sense. It should have worked. It should have worked scientifically. The data's there. What is wrong? What is wrong? Why is the results not what it's supposed to be? You know, and it's it, it just, I, I can't. To make it, to, to do that again, it's not something you can replicate. It's not something you just do. Because it wasn't just anything. It wasn't a fling. It wasn't this. It wasn't nothing that you were like, you know what? It was good until it wasn't. Eh, okay, moving on. No. It was far beyond that for me. For me, not for, for, I don't know. I don't want, I don't speak for others. For me. So I. I don't know what to say anymore. And I, I, I'm just drained physically, mentally, emotionally, just everything, just everything. I don't have to keep draining myself, but I'm drained. And in the well it, or, or in the, the cup, no matter how long you keep the water running, it has a hole and, and the water just keeps filling and, and emptying, filling and empty and filling and emptying. It's not going to fill to the top. It's going to keep emptying and emptying and emptying and emptying. And that is the po- that is the case. That is the case. No matter how much water you pour into this ocean, it, it, it's going to keep drying up. And you just run out of water. You just run out of water. At some point, that fucking vast ocean, deep blue ocean, beautiful ocean, fucking turns into just fucking dry, deserted, fucking nothing. Fucking the Grand Canyon. I'm just, I'm just in, in utter disbelief, you know, and I've done fucking everything, everything there is, everything. I've never been that much of a fucking believer in a higher power or anything, and I've, I've gone to a fucking church. As a final straw. And this is how it ends. Like I don't know. Like. All because there's fucking shitty scum ass fucking trash vile I don't even want to say humans or people because they're not people. People feel people hurt people laugh people cry people do everything but to get utter enjoyment from 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 people suffering or causing damage to others why without motive what do you gain from that 
you gain absolutely fucking nothing. All because you want content and you want some laughs and you, and you want to feel good about your fucking situation and you can't do that. You're goddamn selves. You're not capable of going out and, 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 and establishing something for yourself. So everything is fucking content and everything it, 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 you, at that point, you're not even human anymore. You lost your humanity. You sold your fucking soul. If you believe in that shit, you sold your soul to the devil. All for, for what? For money? All just to, just to, to laugh or, or to, to, to fuck up something good. Why, why can't you just go and, and get that for yourself? Why can't you just do it for yourself? Why can't we just all share? No, everyone has to have a piece of the pie and take yours at it. There's plenty to go around. No, nope. plenty is to go around isn't enough. Because people, people are greedy. People, life is just full of greedy motherfuckers that take as much as they can. And if they can take more and they can steal food from your plate, they will without thinking about it. And they don't care if you're hungry, if you're starving, if you're dying, if, if, if you haven't eaten in three days, they don't give a fuck. You could die just for that extra spoonful of, of fucking food. And that's fucking, that's, that's the world we live in. That's the world we live in. No matter how positive, optimistic you are and, and can be, and, and you think, hey, I can make a change in the world. there's no need for for any anything negative anything why are you fighting fucking wars for what are you fighting for materials money land that isn't even yours it might be, you might claim it now, but guess what? You're not immortal. You're not going to fucking have, you're not going to have that territory forever. When you die, what happens? It's no longer yours. You can't take a fucking house. You can't, you can't take cars. You can't take money. You can't take jewelry. You can't take anything, anything, anything. You can't take a breath. You can't. No, nothing. You're just gone. Just how you came into this world, you're gone. It's over. So why? Why are you not making life meaningful? Why? Anyone have the answers? No. No. Fucking frustrating, man. Exhausting. Exhausting. What I'm I'm supposed to feel good, and 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 feel better, and feel positive because now I can finally fucking. There's nothing. To work on. There's nothing to better. Because now I got to find myself. Because some somewhere along the line of, of living for someone or giving that person your all, you lost yourself. You lost yourself and now you got to find yourself. And by the time you find yourself, it's too late. At this point, I don't even want to find myself. I don't care. I don't care anymore. And now, 
if I don't find myself and I don't move on, I have to, I have to live with this. I have to live with this feeling, this anger, this, this, this fucking depression and, 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 and the bad feelings. And the bad guys win. The real bad guys, the real bad guys, they win because they get to laugh. They get to laugh. They get to point down at you at your lowest point and say, that's what you get. You know? And it sucks. It absolutely fucking sucks. But I don't even want to say that's life because it shouldn't be. But that that is the world we live in. Sadly. Sadly. No matter if it if it's relationships, if it's friendships, if it's work, you know, you can do, you can do, you can try, 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 give effort, do everything you possibly can and more. And there would be people that take advantage of you. There would be people that fucking just don't care if you're fucking well or if, if, if you're okay, as long as you keep doing and giving and giving and giving and giving, you know, at some point you don't, you don't have more to give, to offer. You don't because you gave so much. When you're fucking tired, you try to sleep to, to fucking recharge that battery. Your phone is dead. You fucking throw it on a charger and it's supposed to, it's supposed to charge the battery back to full. And then you got, you can use it until it drains again and then you charge it again. But guess what? When I'm fucking tired, I can't sleep because my brain doesn't stop working. It keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. And I think even when there's, as I said, when there's not answers, but there's a bunch of questions, I lay down at night trying to find fucking answers, make up answers, or try to rephrase the question to see if I can find an answer that doesn't fucking exist. And it's tiring. It's fucking tiring, man. It's tiring. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I, I didn't want to live for myself. I didn't have anything to live for. And, and now it's not even, it's not even that. It's more that I just don't want to live in this, in this realm, in this realm. Because no matter if I pick myself up, no matter if I go and, and, and try again or do as much as I do now, I know it's going to happen. It's prone to happen. Or there's risks. I'm just tired of the fucking risking. You fucking invest your money and you put it on, 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 on something and it hits or you see a little bit of gain. And you can take that gain. You can be like, okay, yeah, I have something to look forward to. You know what? I'm going to do it again. You might lose a little more money. You might lose money this time. But then you put it again, you might double your money. Huh? You can go to the fucking casino, put it all on red. And then it hits. You're looking forward to that. So you put half of that, that, that earnings into black and it, it, and it hits red. But if you keep fucking just doing that, doing that, doing that, doing that, and it's just loss after loss after loss, no fucking gains, no profits, no nothing, bro. At some point, it's not even like I don't, I don't even want to, I don't even want to try again. It's you can't try again. It's you can't try again, and I, it's getting to the point where I can't try again. And that's fucking sad. Because I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. 
I know I don't deserve that. But I also don't deserve being the bad guy. Being the good guy and being and and being the villain. But I also know that that person doesn't deserve to be made fun of or or be mad ba- bad talked and stuff even though it shouldn't matter. Because hey, there's fucking 8 billion people in this fucking world. Who cares about a fucking group of dumbasses? Because if you got one person that matters and you got a family and you got a whole support system, why not keep trying with that fucking support system and then and then find better people? No, 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 that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And fuck me, right? Fuck me. Fuck what I deserve. Fuck my feelings. I don't I don't deserve that. Everyone des- deserves to be happy except for me. Hmm. Yeah, you don't deserve to get hurt. You don't deserve for for them to talk shit or or whatever, but fuck me, right? And that no. That oh yeah, no. Yeah, fuck you because that's egotistical. That's egotistical. You're thinking about yourself and and it, it's about you, you, you. No. No, fuck you. You're insecure. You're crazy. You're this. You're that. You're yeah. Uh, I will never, ever, ever, ever be able to wrap my head around anything. Because even the shit that makes sense doesn't make sense anymore. The people I thought I could trust, I can't trust anymore. Um, I can't be trusted. You know, <laughs> yesterday I didn't fucking, I didn't sleep because I thought I, I fucking, I fucked shit up. I couldn't sleep because, because I thought you were mad at me because you didn't want to talk or you didn't reach out because you didn't have the consideration to send me a message and be like, Hey, I'm sorry if I I can't talk to you. I'm busy or or this or that. And guess what? You get to sleep. You get to fucking be happy. And and who's up at night worrying? Who's up at night fucking not sleeping, losing sleep, having to go to work early in the fucking morning? depressed and anxious and 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 dealing with shit and 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 doubting myself and hating life and trying to find a reason to live which i thought was us but us didn't even matter us was it wasn't and then dealing with fucking just straight assholes people can be fucking terrible even if you try to help them even if you try to be nice, you know, they can, They don't care about your niceness. They don't care about your kindness. They just care about what they want. You know, and it's like, it's bad enough already that I've been used to when I remember what a smile was and what being happy is and how it feels and I have to fucking, like, pretend, fake that every fucking single day, go greet fucking customers and, 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 and everything, even though I don't want to be here and I don't have a fucking choice. But I, oh, how are you? I'm fucking great. I'm great. Thank you. I hope you, you, oh, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh, yeah, that's what matters. That's that's what's important. Not me. Not how I'm doing. Not if I just lied to your face because I'm not okay. 
I'm not okay. There's not, there's not worse than, than this feeling that I feel now, but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to, I'm going to swallow my pride and I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to tell you the truth because the truth doesn't matter. My truth doesn't matter at least, but no, I fucking get slapped or punched in, in one side of my face. I got to turn the other cheek, right? I can't say, fuck, that hurt. Or, oh, shit, you, 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 you hit me. No, I have to fucking tank and tank and tank and tank until you can't no more. And then you blow up and, or you just can't handle it anymore. And then what? You're the bad guy. You're the bad guy because oh, you lash out because you fucking told your truth because you're hurting. How dare you? How dare you feel? And I, I came on the stream and I, I, I was, I was going to say, you know, I tried to be like, you know what? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I'll finally talk about it to see if I feel any better. I know I'm not going to feel better. I know it's not going to achieve anything besides losing my fucking voice and giving myself more food for thought. And I was like, you know what? I'll just talk about it and then I'll do other things. And then I'll just, I'll just keep doing that because everyone else can do that, but I can't. Truth is, I fucking can't. I, I thought I was going to come on here and play games and do this and be like, you know what? Fuck, fuck, fuck the world. Fuck life. You know, I'm just going to do me. No, I don't even know what do me even means anymore because I never did me. It is fucking trash, man. And I came on live and I said before, I've said it time and time again, it's exhausting living when you don't want to, you know, but it's more exhausting living for others as well. It is. Because no matter how much you have to, and it, it gets exhausting. It does. It does. It does. I wake up, things don't get better. Or you wake up and shit gets worse. Or you're dealing with this, you're dealing with that, and, and it doesn't get better. And it doesn't get better. And then you think it's going to get better, but it doesn't. And that's your reality. You got to deal with that shit, no matter if you like it or not. Because the world keeps spinning, no matter if you choose to fucking wake up and just lay there. Or you wake up and decide to go to work and do your fucking responsibilities in life. The world doesn't care. The fucking, this, the earth keeps spinning. You know, time, time doesn't stop ticking. People keep it moving, whether, whether you decide to, to be a part of their life or not, you know. And when you, you can't even... When you don't have the time to think about yourself because you're so busy focusing on others and other things and just life. And now you finally do have the time and it's kind of like you don't even want to think anymore. You don't want to think anymore because it is exhausting thinking. It is exhausting starting from zero. Knowing that you have to, you have to do it again, even though you don't have the strength to. And even though you don't have the strength, you try to find it. But you're searching and searching and searching. And no matter how, how far and wide you search, you, you just can't, you know, I'm over here going live, talking about my shit, you know, and, and, and. I, I'm, I, I can't even say that I'm doing it to feel better, to, to let it all out because that's, that's a fucking lie. I'm doing it because I'm thinking of people still 
And I'm like, if someone is feeling the same shit that I'm going through right now, or someone can learn from anything I'm saying or, or avoid the same mistakes I made or whatever, Hey, it's, it's enough for me. That's all that matters. But not even that, not even that. So why am I doing it? Why, 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 why? Cause I have to, cause I have to. I have to. I don't know why I have to. But I do. And I've always been a person that can never say no. Or a person that could refuse. Or a person that has the the respect for themselves. Or knows their worth or their value. I've never been that person. Ever in my life, ever. And I've always focused on others. And my happiness, I've never had happiness for myself. Hell no. My happiness, you know what it is? It's working and sacrificing and giving to others and seeing their reaction and feeding off that. I'm a leech for other people's emotions. Because I have to, that's how I can feel happiness there, is making other people happy and then, and then, that makes me feel good for myself. And I thought love was that. I thought love was giving the world, the stars, the moon, the fucking sun, the galaxy, the universe, everything, and yourself to someone so that they can be happy and you can, you can feel that happiness. You can be happy that they're happy. But when you're giving everything and you're doing everything and they're not happy, it makes you feel bad. It makes you feel bad. Because now you can't feel good for yourself. You can't make them feel good. And now you have to deal with your sadness and your pain on top of that now you there's theirs even though that wasn't your intention from the start but going back to the point i made i don't have the self respect the dignity to be like, you know what? I need this. I need, I need to feel better and I need to focus on myself and I deserve that. I deserve happiness. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm the fucking grim reaper fucking walking through a, 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 a vibrant saturated garden full of flowers and roses. And, and I'm trying to enjoy the beauty of nature. And every time I touch something, it just dies and it shrivels and it, 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 it rots. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I can't enjoy anything good because I end up, it ends up fucking up. And at this point, people say it's me. So I just go with it because I don't have the, the, the self-respect to, to say, no, it wasn't me. I gave my all and I tried everything. And, it, and no. And that's always been my story. Always, always. I've just had to, to deal with things as they come. I had to fucking mature at a very young age. And I didn't have a childhood. I just had, I just had a window, you know, and that window is what? Playing video games, not being able to have friends or cross the street and go to, to fucking poor little Timmy's house because he has a PlayStation and I, and we can both play games or, or GameCube or whatever the fuck. No, you you want the GameCube? Here, have it. Now go lock yourself in the fucking room and play that GameCube if you want. 
but you're not able to go out there. You're not able to fucking socialize, which is a part of, of life. You know, before they say in, 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 in before times, if you didn't belong to a tribe or you didn't socialize, you would be isolated. And then, and then, and then you, you could die because of it. And now we live in a world where fucking, if, if that's how you were brought up, it carries on to fucking adulthood. And now you're dealing with that fucking trauma, you know? And I don't blame my parents or anything because obviously I'm not a parent myself, but I, I, I worry if I think about, if I even think about a child now, no matter if I say, you know what, that child will save me from, from my depression. It would give me a reason. It would give me purpose because now I live for someone else. I focus on someone else. I don't care about me, you know. You do everything for that child. And even if you can't, you find it. You go out and you have to because now someone depends on you. But you worry. Because uh, just the world we live in and the things and the people in it. And you try to shield them from everything. You try to protect their innocence. But you can't. No matter how much you fucking protect them and provide for them and, and shield them from reality. The truth is that it fucking sucks. And world is, is unjust and, and, and there's just bad fucking people. And things out there. You know. You could. F dream about a utopia. And you can try to. Fucking. Invent you one. You know. But no matter how much you do it. It's. It's just a dream. That's not reality. That's not life. You know. That's why. Sometimes people say you you should experiment, right? You got to know what failure is in order to to know what success is. In order to succeed, you got to fail a couple of times. You got to learn from it. You know, in order to learn a lesson, you got to learn from mistakes or learn from other people's mistakes. But if you're not able to do that, then how the fuck are you supposed to prepare yourself? And even if you prepare yourself, you can't truly be prepared for everything life throws at you. You know? As I said, I'm not religious by any means or spiritual or anything, but fucking... I, I, I see it as... It, the, the devil exists just to blame so, something or someone for, for, for negative... You know, and whatever is good, God, that's God. Praise him. You know. Oh, and it doesn't matter how you live or what happens in life because you go to, you go to heaven. The perfect utopia. You know, and for me, it's like, this is heaven. This is heaven. Go outside, go to a park. Go see the birds chirping and flying. Go see the clouds, the skies, the stars, the fucking plants, the, the, the trees. Fucking kids running around having fun. That's life. That's life. This should be heaven. But no, we got people that don't, don't make it heaven. They try to burn it and make it hell. Hell on earth. And it's, it's, why? No need for it. No need for it. And it, it, it. you know, it's, it's crazy. You have no other choice than to think that shit will get better. And that, that, that the world's going to change, you know. And, and there, there's some fucking 
perfect humans, man. There's some perfect people that have existed throughout time. And they got shit that they don't deserve. You know? I listen to fucking Bob Marley. And and all and all the his message about one love and peace and unity and and this is far from fucking unity and love and peace. Because why? Because there's fucking wars being fought for no fucking reason whatsoever. Well, none that matter in in life, you know. In 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 and there's no peace. Or love. Because there's hurt. There's pain. There's suffering. There's fucking diseases. People that don't deserve that type of life. But that's what they were dealt with. So I'm here. I, I'm supposed to believe in a God. If your God is so perfect, why is there fucking suffering? Why is there fucking disease? Oh, wait. You're going to tell me that's the devil? You're going to tell me that such and such wanted to to fuck up something for you or take someone else's life and you're going to say that was was a made-up character? And that's just not that person? Or that you... The action and reactions, like actions have consequences... Really? No, I can't. I can't. Because to me, everything has to have a, a reason. Everything has to make sense. Somewhere, even though right now it doesn't. And I don't know if after. Because I don't know what happens. To me, it's this is your, your only life. And then it's not like you fucking relive your life. And see all the bad things you did and and why shit happens and find the answers that you've always been searching for all your life. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You know, you don't fucking click on, on rewind and click play. You know? So to me, there has to be an action for a reaction. There has to be an action for a consequence. Or an outcome. But when you can't find that thing. And the answers aren't clear. No matter how much you fucking. Wrap your mind around it. And try and try and try. And find every. Fucking calculation there is. To get the meaning of life. Or why something happened. Or why something went wrong. That is just. Uh, man, I, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Like, if someone has the answers to anything, answers to life, please, I beg you. For the for the greater good for humanity, for mankind, please publicize it, please, because honestly, Why, why? Why do shit? What does it matter? If good people get hurt and sometimes bad people win and losers win or uh, you, you lose. Makes no sense. You're made to believe good people do good things and get good things in return. Bad people do bad things and deal with the consequences of those bad things. But there's sometimes that's not true. And it doesn't make sense. And quite honestly, I don't want to make sense of anything anymore. I don't. But then again... You have, you're, you spawn in 
you know, you spawn in into a family, into people that care. You meet people along the way that might, because they are good people, that might care about you. And they don't deserve it. That you feel exhausted. You know how many fucking times good things happen and I'm just not able to to take advantage of it or pursue it because of all the bad things? You know how fucking traumatized I am? You know how many fucking, you know how many fucking unhealed wounds I have? They say time heals all wounds. So why isn't time healing it? Why do I still don't forgive, don't forget? Why? Why can't I just let go? It passes the past, you can't change it. Focus on the present and think about the future, plan for the future. Why am I stuck in the past? Why am I on a, in a race trying to catch up? You know? I don't know these answers. And a lot of people don't. And they try to search. And no matter how much they search for the answer, it just... They can't find it. And it, I, you know... We fucking deserve it. We deserve the answers. We deserve the truth. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling on and 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 I take pauses, but you know, I'm just trying to to come up with anything. But I'm I'm tired. Physically, mentally, I can't feel anymore because I don't, I don't have the energy to feel. I can't think because my brain is fried and I, and I, I don't want to go through the process of coming up with a thought because I know like nine times out of ten is going to be fucking toxic and negative. And I don't want to deal with the pain of that. Like when does it end? When? When does shit get better? When? You reach out. You do what you have to. You even take fucking medications whatever the fuck and before it it can even kick in it 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 get it has more side effects and makes it worse for you and you can't even give up because if you do you're fucked so if you try medication if you try to fix shit if you try talking about things and it doesn't it doesn't fix anything or it doesn't help anything, it doesn't better anything, then what it, What else is there to do? What else is there to do? And that's, that's the point that I'm at. And again, I say it's, un, uh, it's, it's, no matter if, you do or you don't know who actually cares about you and who is deserving of your love, your trust, and your gratification and, and appreciation. You know, feeling this way and dealing with this isn't for them. It isn't fair because they deserve more just, just as you deserve more. But you gave it away. Or they took it away. So you can't even give it to the people that deserve it. You know. 
It's... I don't know. I don't know. I think I have the right to say I'm tired. And that I don't want to continue. You know. I think it's okay to acknowledge it. And it, I know it's gonna it's gonna worry people. Whether you whether you express it or you don't. Or people people will see that in you. That something's not right. That something's wrong. They're going to be worried anyways. Because they care. By default. They're going to worry. Um, but it's just unfair. I know I'll detonate. You know. And I don't want anyone to be impacted by that. So what do I do? I, I, I just like in the in the in the in the hero movies, that they sacrifice themselves. Sometimes they go out to the ocean. They go fucking Superman flies out in space and throws it, just yeets it, and it blows up and saves the whole human race and Earth and no damage. You know, that's me. But I, I I might not I I can't make it to the water or to the fucking ga- to to space before the explosion, and so yeah, there's some people that follow behind you and they will f- f- they will feel that explosion, and they shouldn't, or you think you you know the wires to cut. I mean, you, you can study the fucking bomb your whole entire life. And you might slip up and, and, and cut a different wire and boom. And I don't want to boom anymore. You know, I don't. I don't want to keep affecting others. But also, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it myself. But because those people exist, because those people care, I have no other choice but to do it for them. If I can't do it for me, I do it for them. I did it for the for the wrong people. And so now it is, it is exhausting to keep doing it for the right one. Because I can't add... Fuck me from the beginning, honestly. Like, I, I've never thought about me and, hey, this is, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to, you know, no. It's always been, hey, I'm doing this because such and such needs me to, wants me to, you know. And I've never really focused on it. Any, I, like, I've distracted myself pretty much. But no matter how how far you run away from your problems, you have to come back and they're still going to be there. You know? They're always going to be there until you find the answers and fix this, find the solution to fix those problems. And sometimes you just can't find the solution. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's just at the point that I am in now. And you know, and I don't care anymore. And it's sad to say, because at one point I did at one point along the way, as I said, Never had a, a normal childhood. I was ripped apart from my family. I'm not, you know, and and it's kind of like that was stolen from me. And that kid, that that young innocent kid, died. It died, and I had to mature. I had to premature, and I had to deal with life just because life was knocking at my door. And I didn't invite it over. I had to. I had to mature, and so then I became 
you know, not even a man. You know, I became Ronald. And then so many shit happened to that Ronald that I had to, you know, you had to pass away. And so I became Ronnie and Kakashi and Sukea or whatever the fuck. And, and now things are happening and life is just dragging me back down where, where there is no, oh, reset. There is no, oh yeah, I'll just create another existence. I'm not an actor. I can't fucking just invent a character and be like, hey, you know what? I'm fuck that. I'm not Ronald. I'm not I'm not that young innocent boy anymore. No. I am fucking broken. I am scarred. I am damaged goods. And I either have to live with that. Get those pieces replaced. But honestly, it's like a phone that isn't manufactured anymore. And it falls. Boom. And it, and you break the screen. And you try and you try and you try to find the fucking part to replace the screen. But you can't because you know what? They don't make them anymore. So what options do you have? What options do you have? You either keep using that phone with the broken screen and it's it's hard to use it. It's hard to navigate. It's hard to make calls or or do whatever the fuck you do on it. Or you buy, you know, you get rid of it. And quite honestly, I don't want to do either or. I don't want to keep using this crappy ass fucking phone, you know, but also I don't want to get rid of it. So I don't care anymore. Like I, I honestly, I'm not going to hit the restart button or fall into lava and Minecraft. But Hey, if I trip and I end up falling or anything happens, I don't care anymore, man. Cause I don't have to keep dealing with it. And that is an easy way out. That is a coward's way of thinking about giving up and stuff. But honestly, that is much easier than 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 keep going, because at some point you gotta admit defeat. You can only take so much damage and so much hurt and so much pain and so like so much. You don't have any more HP to tank. You don't have any more Estus flasks. If you if you know what Dark Souls and From Software is, or or, or you know Crimson Tear, or you know Flask, or none none of that, you ran out and you're at one HP. Are you are you gonna have to fight this boss and not get hit once? Or you can say fuck it, it's just much easier to fucking you know, die, let them one tap me and then, and then start again. But there is no starting again. There is no redo. There is either you beat the boss and you can keep living life. There is no fucking bonfire. There is no, no fucking grace site. There's none of that. There's no sculptor's idol or, I don't know. I love From Software, so that's why I'm using those references, but. Tired. I'm tired. It visibly shows and I can, I feel it. I know it. But you know what? I can't fucking sleep. I can't, I can't. I can't rest. I can't recharge. So what am I supposed to do? You know? There's no fucking machine where they can just mine erase you, you and, and and everything. And you can start fresh. You can start anew. Or you can create a new character. There's no 
There's none of that. But I, th I think that is everything that comes to mind and everything that I can think of. Because honestly, I don't want to think about more, even though there, I know that that's inevitable, you know. But I, I don't know. I again. This isn't going to help me uh, talking about my issues. Just make me fucking dwell on them even more and, and not forget and anything. But I just hope that if you come across this and you're going through something similar or you feel the same or you're just fucking tired. That you find solace or you find something of use in me expressing or saying what I'm saying, or, you know, whatever. Because you, you're not alone. You know, you're not alone. And shit, I want to say shit gets better, but truth is, is it, it might not. But keep, keep trying. Keep going. Because you're stronger than I am. You're stronger than I am. I'm not. And it was funny because after everything happened and I was like in the in the beginning stages of of this feeling and I was isolated and everything. My mom told me one time, she's like, oh, I, you must be weaker than I thought you were because you would always be the first one to give advice. You would be the first one to say good shit that, that you know, makes anyone thinks you're wise. And in my, obviously, I didn't, I didn't respond. But in my head, I was like, yeah, I'm weak. Again, I'm not, I'm not living up to anyone's expectations. But I'm also not, not creating any for myself. I'm living how I live, feel the way I feel, think the way I think, and I'm going to say what those things are, as is. Whether it feels good or not, whether it entertains you or not, whether it's sad or not, I don't, I don't care anymore. I'm tired of, of focusing on others and, and focusing on what makes who feel good or no and also I never cared about myself to even begin to think about what I care about what I feel and what I think I'm just gonna put it out there in the universe and hope to see something back you know they say you guys sucked into a black hole you can't there, there's a point of no return and it travels faster than the speed of light, so it's it's impossible. And you're just stuck there. And even if you yell, if you try to make your way out or whatever, you're stuck there for, for eternity. It's like you don't exist. And some people believe that there is no out. So that's just me in the black hole, yelling at the top of my lungs. Just floating, not even trying to get out anymore because that's just extra energy wasted. I'm just floating and yelling to see if anyone hears me on the outside or if there's anyone in the black hole, you know, to at least have company. If there's no way out, I accept it. But I know that, yo, there's a chance. There's a chance someone might hear me. There's a chance someone might be in here stuck with me, you know? But I'd rather do it together than alone. But my reality is I have to do it alone. And I don't mind that because I'm used to that. I've become used to that. I've become atoned and, and numb to that. And I know other people probably haven't. So I'd rather put myself out there and I'd rather talk and I'd rather say what I think so that that person can come across this maybe, maybe not. But if he does, he can be like, hey, bro, I'm there. Bro, I know what you feel. I know what you think. 
I've been there before. Here's, here's what helped me or, Hey, it feels good to hear that someone actually finally understands what I'm going through. We might not be going through the same shit, but we all deal with, with something, you know, depression, uh, mental health doesn't really have one cause, you know, so that's, that's what I want to get out of this is I want whoever listens to this to, to find something out of it, something useful. Um, but yeah, as I said, I do not know if that is going to happen or if that's the case or if, you know, but I, I rather, as I, I rather put it out there in case instead of harvesting it in my head and in my heart and inside um, and, and dealing with it by myself and having to exist with that pain and that suffering and digging myself deeper into a hole that I didn't want to be in the first place. But I just kept digging and digging because that's what I got used to. And now I'm so far down, I can't even crawl up. I'm, I can't be Batman in Dark Knight Rises and get out the well and do parkour because I'm tired. I'm, I'm, there's no physical assertion anymore. Fuck, I just have to accept reality that, that that's my reality now. This was my reality, even though it didn't matter, even though it was true, you know. This is the new reality. And it sucks more than this one. Because I'd rather live a fuck and it's and it's terrible to say. I'd rather live a fucking dream than you know. Or I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> I re- I'd rather live a false dream than 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 live a harsh reality. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, I, I've been mumbling on for, for about two hours. My throat, um, can't take it anymore. I don't care if I lose my voice, (laughs) but I am. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to just ring around the rosy and, and say the same things over and over again. Um, I hope you guys take care, you know, and I hope you guys, as I said, come across this and find something out of it and um yeah keep going cuz i'm i'm at the point in the race where i stumble my legs can't keep going they just gave out on me and i don't want you to turn around and and try to lift me up or carry me i want you to keep going finish that race not for not not only for you uh, do it selfishly for me do it do it for you for the people that that are there at the finish line waiting to celebrate for you. I'll find my way if I have to crawl and it takes me after the race finishes to you know to get there. I'll figure it out if I have to take a route, if I have to do whatever the fuck I have to do. But um I don't care if I get lost, I don't care if I, I pass out, you know. That's just that's the new truth. But, um, yeah, 